Well, a very good evening and a warm welcome to tonight's edition of KTN Sports. My name is Lynn Washira. We kick off the bulletin in Matas Arambi Stars where Cabinet Secretary for Sports, Culture and Arts, Dr. Hassan Wario, honored a date with the Senate Labor Committee that had summoned him for questioning of alleged mismanagement of the national soccer team Harambe Stars. Cabinet Secretary for Sports, Culture and Arts, Dr. Hassan Wari, was put on the spot by the Senate Standing Committee on Labor, Social Welfare of Alleged Mismanagement of Harambe Stars. Harambe Stars was stranded at the Wilson Airport for more than nine hours for the trip to Cape Verde, and in explanation, the Cabinet Secretary laid blame on Football the Kenya Federation. The full responsibility lies with FKF. They need to explain to us what happened between the time they were given the money. And, between, uh, and up to the time the team flew. We have supported the, the uh, Harambe Stars and will continue supporting them. But it is the management of Harambe Stars that has let them down. Before they said the trip to Cape Verde, on 13th of November 2015, according to Wario, the government wired 17 million Kenyan shillings, 241,842 to the FKF's account. This is after FKF had produced invoices worth 7.7 .7 million Kenyan shillings, saying that they were in the process to secure return air tickets from Air Mauritius for the team, something that did not happen. But actually, that was not all. More money came out from the ministry for the said trip. So the ministry then had to look around and try to see how they can facilitate. Because now the players were isn't waiting. Um, and everybody was concerned about uh, their travel. So the ministry then was forced to remit to FKF another 9.87 million Kenyan shillings for, the air, for, the, for them now to, to pay the chartered aircraft that they already given, because there was no other way out. Even if we, we cannot go beyond a certain area, we cannot, for instance, go and just manage Arambistas even if the need is there. Stewart Mazzao, the chairman of the Senate's Standing Committee on Labor and Social Welfare, has directed the Sports, Culture and Arts Ministry to provide a document that support the allegations. The committee planned to question Sam Nyamoya and Nairobi Senator Mike Sonko, who is also expected to present documents. He said they show massive theft in the Federation. Moses Wahisi, KTN Sports.